A little higher pitched. Fuck! There you go. I'm a genius. Can you go higher? I've reached the level of genius. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Uh, I didn't really grab his underwear. That's, that's it how was you, an optical illusion. That's how you become a genius. You get lots of wedgies in grade school. I imagine all these guys do. That was a good special effect, though. Let's do it again. Can I do it to you? Yeah, but don't grab my underwear. Oh! A little delay. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta grab the shirt. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, but that's what makes it seem like it's going up. Well, oh. Mine's not gonna do as well because it's black. Oh! See, it doesn't even... See. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it worked better on that. It was great, yeah, but give me one more, just for good time's sake. <laughs> <laughs> See, you gotta really Fate give, wedgies. give it your gusto. Um, we're gonna talk about this genus, Grigori Perelman. I got a few more if uh, if you want me to give you some, but this guy may be this interesting for his is, eyebrows. This guy's good. Uh, but first, He's here in Good Mythical More, uh, exclusive to this show, uh, show your support by going to lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A.com slash more. Uh, if you want to become a genius or just learn something better and Make hey, you a genius. help us out at the in, same in time. In a certain area. Um, they've got great video tutorials. I absolutely believe in it. I've used it, as I've said. Um, high quality stuff. I mean, honestly, people go to YouTube to learn stuff, yeah. but this is more curriculum based. When you want to know the ins and outs of 3D animation, audio, business. And, and from I, an, an expert. I don't want it to sound like a hard sell, but it's, it's a great place, you should check it out. You get a free 10 day trial Use going to lynda.com slash more. Um, developer, if you wanted to learn how to develop mobile apps. You could do that, you could become rich and you get your own octopus that you're Click on that one right now. So there's- $14.2 billion. I mean, once I click on mobile apps, there's all types of stuff that I think if you were kind of into mobile apps, you would know what was on this page, but I'm so far out of it that I'm like, I need to click on the one called Introduction to Developing a Mobile App. But you have Building and monetizing game apps for Android. Okay. I would click on that one. All right, make some money. I'm not gonna do that right now because we're gonna talk about this guy. Let's talk about Grigory uh, Perelman. He's a Russian mathematician. This guy, his IQ is unknown. His eyebrows are well known. Yes. I'm gonna keep mentioning those. They're they're very prominent, and I have always thought that the darkness of your eyebrows is an indication of your intelligence quotient. Okay. In 1994, I'm gonna I'm just gonna bring up a picture of this guy. This guy so proved at it. the soul conjecture. That means nothing to me, and it probably doesn't mean anything to you, but it means a whole lot to people in the mathematics world. It was an, just some really crazy, complicated proof. He pulled it off in 1994 as a pretty young guy. Then in 2002, he cracked. Are you gonna pull that up? Hey, I'm gonna do the voice. Oh, he's Russian, so you gotta do a Russian accent. Dunkerschein. Is that German? Mm, yeah. You should probably stop now. This is his face. <laughs> How about that? In 2002, he cracked the Poincare. Conjecture. I'm doing this, Morgan, so you don't have to add it in post. You're welcome. Well, they probably got the idea at this point, but you can do that as long as you, as long as you want. Stare, just stare into his eyes as he stares into your soul while we're at talks about the it. The details of what this guy has proven are probably beside the point unless you're an incredibly smart mathematician. But let's just put it this way. This was a problem in mathematics that had been out there since 1904 that no one had been able to prove. And this guy just basically did it almost haphazardly while working on something else. Okay? Accidentally? No, he did it on purpose, but it wasn't like, it was just kind of like his side thing. Like, oh yeah, I, I proved that. And look, here it is. Turns out to just be a squiggly line going through the x-axis of, of a graph. There it That's is. It. As you can see, once it That's crosses it crosses into the, uh, into the uh, positive x and y, Plane, then um, once it goes past my finger, then it's, so it's solved. I think you might be revealing uh, your mathematical ignorance. <laughs> anyway, in 2006, because this was such a big freaking deal, he was awarded this Fields Medal for his work in geometry. He's the first person in history to say, I don't want the medal. He's really? quoted as saying, I'm not interested in money or fame. I don't want to be on display like an animal in a zoo. I am not a hero of mathematics. I'm not even that successful. That is why I don't want to have everybody looking at me. If this proof was correct, then no other recognition is needed. 
Here we go. Now we're talking. Oh, that's not true. That's not. But he true. does want custom wallpaper showing photoshopped muscles. He requested this. He rejected that medal. So but he this, asked for this. This guy. I didn't. I didn't do this, by the way, while you were talking. I just found it on Google yeah, Image I, Search. I, you you need to go to Linda.com and you can learn how to actually do that instead of taking somebody's image off the internet. So this guy turns it down, and then in 2010 they offer him another prize, the Clay Millennium Prize, and one million dollars for proving this conjecture. Does he turn that down too? He turns down the one million dollars. You're kidding me. He says, I know how to control the universe. Why should I run to get a million, tell me. That's what he said, and he, that's Mr. Bean. That's the face that he made when he said it. So, and now, he lives with his mom. Am I supposed to laugh at that because no, what I'm saying this, this one of the most accomplished mathematicians in history could have been a millionaire. Just goes and lives with his mom. Well, maybe his mom came and lived with him. No, no, he went and lived with his mom. It, it's, it's like a situation like, you know, I you, live. You with go off to graduate school and you can't get a job and you go live with your parents. Nothing wrong with it, but it's not exactly a hallmark of success. And so this guy is doing that now. At late last we checked but he's a freaking genius that has done all this stuff that most people can't even begin to comprehend. But he just, he's just, you know what? He's just happy just doing his math. He, he's a hero. I'm not trying to be annoying by showing these pictures. At this, I was earlier. Now I'm just saying. You're just doing it effortlessly. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Um, people Photoshop this dude into all types of stuff because he's, he's, a he's awesome. He's a hero. He is a mathematics genius hero. But, he doesn't want to be. I'd like to meet him. Good luck with that. He doesn't want to be a part of any of our shenanigans. He just wants to do math by himself and he'll prove all this amazing stuff and he's like, hey, big deal. You know, when he, he talked about this, uh, this Poincare conjecture, he's like, another guy did just as much work on it as I did. He deserves it just as much as me. I mean, he's a humble dude. That's cool. It's just, you know. Maybe, you know what, maybe he's super happy living with his mom. Maybe we should go back and live with our mom. I lived with my mom for a long time. Yeah, yeah, for like 18 years. Yeah, like growing up and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, right, it was a good 18 years. Mm -hmm, mm 